I gotta make this video. I'm in the middle of hanging out with my family, living room, but I'm really excited for what I am learning. So one of my mentors, his name is Da Vinci J15. He was taught by the rational investor, Brian Beamish. Okay, if you guys wanna look into those um, resources, I advise you do. You know, they know a whole lot more than me, I'm just being honest, and um, you'll benefit from them. But look, so there's always a flip side when it comes to the negatives, right? And the flip side is we are in altcoin season, meaning that we are going to be 10xing our money when we put our money into altcoins, okay? So we're going to pretty much be, um, we're pretty much going to be rolling over and I'm going to give you the expected targets of where Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to go to, okay? We're going to be able to see Bitcoin easily within these next 24 to 48 hours within the week, hit 33,000, go down to 32, probably 31 and 30, okay? This is why I exited. This is why I, I, I thought I was being emotional, but I was seeing things. And obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty in the country. And I made the move, okay? And I'm okay with that because, worst case scenario, I'm taking profits. And I'll have money in my pocket that I didn't have before. And there's always going to be another chance to make money in another sector. I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. But there's always going to be something else to make money in, something else to invest in, okay? So I'm not a crypto maximalist, right? I'm not a crypto maximalist. Look, Ethereum is probably going to hit 1165. And I'm going to take a look at the charts and see if that's a good place to get in. I'll start nibbling at it and start getting in little by little. You want to slowly, like you take profits, you want to get into... Um, Price actions like this where there's uncertainty and there's just dumps or there's just surges because you don't know when the bottom is or where the top is. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I took profits and I've been telling you guys to invest in REN and to invest in VChain. The reason why is because both VChain and REN are not correlated to Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin or Ethereum... Right, Because Ethereum follows Bitcoin. Whatever moves Bitcoin does, Ethereum lags a little behind. If Bitcoin shoots up, Ethereum tends to shoot up afterwards. If Bitcoin dumps, Ethereum tends to dump. But the opportunity is that now all coins will surge because everybody's taking their money out of these volatile assets and placing them into the smaller coins. Now, these smaller coins will shoot up 10x at least. And the crazy thing that Da Vinci said is that they will surge 10x, not in US dollars, but in Bitcoin, which is insane. Because as Bitcoin eventually stabilizes and it's going to move sideways as it tends to do during altcoin season, you'll be able to stack Satoshi's Bitcoin at a stable price and get ready for it to go back up. So my strategy pretty much is when I take these profits from all coins, place 20% into Bitcoin, 20% into Ethereum, you know, pocket 30, 40%, and then the rest either reinvest into all coins on a dip or more speculative assets at like 1%, 0.5%. Right. If if you think like initial coin offerings, they could make you 1000 X, but you don't want to gamble more than 0.5 or 1% of your entire bag and you will live to trade another day. OK, I'm just going to share with you a couple of coins that will do very well coming up. Zcash, Dash, Litecoin, which will be on PayPal, Tezos, OX, Ave, Synthetics. And dot. Okay, obviously, I am bullish also on Theta, and there's some other coins down the road as we start taking profits that I'm going to share with you that are low cap coins and could shoot to the freaking Pluto. Okay, they're going to thousand X your money.
I'm very excited. I wanted to make this video. I wanted to share this with you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Peace.